Hey fiddlers, today we are going to be learning a tune from the region of Brittany, France. It's called the Wren. If you want to get companion sheet music and practice tracks to go along with this fiddle lesson video, check out the link in the description. You'll get the tune, the variation, the harmony, backup parts, and a chord chart. All right, let's give this tune a listen. Here's how it sounds. So that is the tune we are going to be learning today. Let's get right down to business. So starting off, we are in the key of E minor. So let's figure out what our finger placements are gonna be in E minor by playing an E minor scale. This is going to start with your first finger on the D string, playing an E note, and we're gonna go like this. One, two, have an open D in there. So that's our E minor scale. Those are our finger placements for the tune. And so now we are going to learn the tune by call and response. And those of you who have been watching my fiddle lesson videos for a while, you know the drill. I'll play each phrase a couple times and you can pause the video and try playing it back. Trial and error is your friend. Try out a few different notes, see what sounds right. If you want some tips, by the way, on learning by ear, check out this video. Maybe it's over there. As with many fiddle tunes, this tune has an A part and a B part. We're gonna start out with the first phrase of the A part, and this tune is in four, four time. So I'll count to four, and then we'll try it out. So the first phrase starts with your first finger on the D string. One, two, three, four. Let's try that again. One, One more time. Moving on to phrase number two, it starts with your second finger on the D string. So it's going to go like this. One, two, three. Let's try that again. Here are the finger numbers. Two, three, oh, 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 one, oh, three, two, two, three, two, one, oh. One more time. line of the tune, let's try putting that whole first line together, starting at the very beginning with that first finger on the D string. One, two, three, four. All right. 
right, going on to the next phrase of the A part. It's actually the same as the first phrase, so we don't have any extra work to do here. But let's play it anyway. It starts with the first finger on that D string. One, two, three, four. Easy peasy, but let's play it one more time. One, 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 oh, one, low two, one, oh. And now we're going on to the end of the A part. This last phrase is very similar to a phrase we played earlier, the one that starts with your second finger on the D string, but it's gonna end a little differently. So here's how it goes. One, two, three. that special ending. Let's try it again with the finger numbers. Two, three, oh, 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 one, oh, three, two, one, one. And one last time. Let's do that whole entire second line of the A part. So this is very similar to the first line, it just ends differently, starting with your first finger on the D string. One, two, three, four. Let's play that one time through just to see if we can string all those parts together. Starting from the first finger on the D string. One, two, three, four. You might want to see my bow arm a little better, so I'm going to step back a little. Moving on, we are in the second half of the tune now. It starts with a phrase that starts with your first finger on the D string, and it's going to go a little something like this. One, two, three, four. That's literally all it is. Basically a repeated phrase. We'll play that again with the finger numbers. One, one, two, three. One, one, two, three. And one more time. Next phrase is gonna be pretty familiar. We're gonna remember it from the A part. It starts with your open A string, and it's gonna go like this. One, two, three, four. And we'll do that again. Of the B part, let's string those phrases together. Starting with that first finger on the D string. One, two, three, four. starts with a phrase that will again sound rather familiar, starting with your first finger on the D string. One, two, three, four. All right, we already know.
know that one. Let's play it once more anyway. One, one, two, three. One, one, two, three. And you might be getting the gist at this point. There's a good bit of repetition in this tune. The last phrase will also sound like something we played before, starting with your open A string. One, two, three, four. And again, O, 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 one, O, three, two, one, one. Last time. So putting that last line of the tune together, we start with your first finger on the D string and it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. Let's try that whole entire B part, starting with that first finger on the D string. One, two, three, four. entire tune now so let's try playing it through pretty slowly kind of the same speed we learned it at and then we'll try it just a little faster to kind of bring it up to speed this tune can sound super beautiful as just like a really slow sort of mysterious tune and it can also sound cool a little bit speedier just with a little bit more energy to it so dealer's choice first we're gonna play it slowly all the way through starting with that first finger on the D string so one two three You can definitely just play it at that speed and try it again around that tempo, but we're also going to take it up a notch and play it up to speed. So here we go. Let's try. One, two, one, two, three, four.
guys, we are now going to learn a couple of variations on this tune. There are three variations that I'm adding into this tune. The first is going to be a melodic variation, so we're just gonna change the melody a little bit. The second is going to be a grace note um, ornament. It's called a waterfall. Some of you might already know it from my other videos. And we're going to add a stop in the tune. We're just going to take out one of the notes in the B part just to give it this kind of cool little abrupt pause in the action. So let's start out with the melodic variation. That comes into the tune in the A part. So after you've played the very beginning of the tune, here's where the change is going to come in. So instead of playing, we're going to play this. we're actually taking out some notes. On the part that would go, we're just playing an open A and we're holding on to it that whole time. We're going one, two, three, four. And then the next phrase is this little cascade of notes. It starts with your first finger on the A string and it's gonna go. So it goes one, Together and we include the little pickup notes at the beginning, it'll sound like this. Two, three, four. Let's try that whole thing. Okay, so that's our first variation. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a waterfall ornament. This is gonna come at the end of the A part. So it's at the end of this phrase. A waterfall ornament usually happens when you're going from one note to the note below it. And what you're doing here is you're playing from the second finger to the first finger. And in between those two notes, you're playing a couple of grace notes. So you're playing two, then you go really quickly to your third finger, then to the second finger, then to the first finger note. So it goes two, three, two, one, really quickly. That's your waterfall ornament. Remember with grace notes, keep those left hand fingers really light so that those notes can happen really fast. So here's how that phrase sounds. One more time, it'll go like this. Waterfall. All right, last variation. We are going to throw a stop into the B part. So remember this little repeated phrase. that phrase we are going to leave a rest in place of that first first finger this is what I mean it'll go like this rest so one one two three rest one and that is all. Those are all of our variations for the tune. Um, just a little thing, at the end of the tune, we have that same ending phrase as at the end of the A part. So it's another opportunity for that waterfall ornament. All right, let's play the variations slow and then up to speed. I'll call out the variations while we're playing it the first time so that you can remember them. So here's how it goes, starting with that first finger on the D string. One, two, three, four.
to speed. One, two, three, four. <laughs> for tuning in to learn this tune. Again, if you want the companion sheet music and practice tracks for this tune, you can get that at the link below. That has the tune and the variation that we learned, and it also has a harmony, backup parts, and the chord chart. So you can play something like the arrangement that I played at the beginning of the video. Also, it would be awesome if you would subscribe to my channel. Thanks guys, happy fiddling, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!